we just got the weekly insurance registration numbers in China. We can see that Fenio's competition, Xpeng, is still stuck around 2,500. Leato is doing just great, now averaging 10,000 cars on the last seven weeks. So this is really good. And Tesla is, uh, let's say, just around uh, yeah, 10, 12,000. Obviously, the, the trend line over the past seven weeks is a bit skewed due to the very low numbers on the previous week. But if you zoom out, you can see that I've kind of have the numbers here. So you can see for the most of the part, it's around, let's say, either just below 10,000 for Tesla or, you know, around 13 or 15. So I would say the average should be over the longer term around 10, 12,000. We can also see that the lithium carbonate price is still stuck in this like low range. So this is really good for us. Nothing to worry about there. Uh, there's also some uh, discussions online from one of the accounts that I follow, Trader Chris. In in his point of view, he says that uh, it's possible that uh, the factory is producing um, Onvo cars for a couple of the weeks uh, during the month. And this could also indicate that the deliveries could be lower this, this week, as we see compared to the previous week where NEO had 5,300. But one more important point, in my opinion, is the month of July has uh, three more working days than month of June. So I think that's going to, you know, if you in June we have 20 working days, in July we have 23. So that's like 10, 10, 15% uh, more working days. And that's going to that's gonna probably affect the delivery numbers quite well. So looking at this other chart here, I think that NEO is a... Uh, yeah, we can see that I increased my guidance for uh, for this month now because right now we are at 8,700 deliveries for this month. So in uh, in like less than a, essentially around one third of the one third of the month, maybe a bit on one third of the month. So I I think 22,500 is possible for this month, and then just have a quick look at the. Uh, stock price you can see that yeah, yesterday was not that great five percent down although it recovered a bit compared to the lows of the day still you know we are stuck in this kind of yeah four four point six four point five US dollars so it's not that great for for investors it's been a rough ride now again for the longest of times now now we are in like uh, three four years from the tops obviously this was a way over valuation phase kind of uh, we have to admit but I think, yeah, again, the market cap of 9.6 billion is going to be quite interesting for a company that has possibility to have a, uh, let's say, quarterly uh, revenue income in 3 billion range. But I, I'm quite confident on NEO right now. I think, you know, balance sheet is strong and uh, deliveries have kind of picked up. I don't think we'll see any quarter like Q1 of this year that we had, you know, very low deliveries. So I think that's past us. But uh, yeah, so these things are looking good and it was essentially just a quick update and also we can see that this other handle on Twitter, Car France China, he's pointing out that uh, NIO accumulated 9.3 thousand uh, locked orders in July with around uh, 4.3 of them uh, in last week. And then there's the ratio of the, you know, EC6 and the ET5, but we can see that um, there was a benefit reduction in China uh, in the in the second week of July, but uh, this caused a bit of let's say reduced order intake for Neo. But according to this uh, channel on Twitter, they also say that because of the improved incentives um, from Neo, then uh, the say the order input kind of recovered a bit. So it's uh, a bit you know less of uh, let's say <laughs> less of bullish a week if you can say on a weekly to week basis, obviously. If you're investing in a company, you shouldn't be looking a week to week basis, but just compared to, you know, the last week that we had the best ever uh, first week of a month, you know, this is the essentially this year's first week of each month on the deliveries. And you can see that last week was by far the best one. So July had the best opening uh, compared to any any month in EOS history. So I think that's going to, yeah, that's going to do it for today. It was just a quick update, but... Hopefully we're going to see the stock recover in the, in the short term. But thank you for watching and uh, please like and subscribe and see you in the next one.